Uh, just in time for our next guest. Oh my gosh, you know her as the Tony Award winning actress who originated the role of Tracy Turnblad in Hairspray on Broadway. Yeah, Marissa Jarrett Minoker is using her skills on the stage to help with her new gig, the guest judge on the Max Competition Series Roller Jam. And that's bringing the top roller skating crews together for the ultimate showdown. Check out the skills out there. I mean. So please join us in welcoming to New York Living, Marissa Jarrett Winoker. Oh, I know he's gonna roll out here. Oh no, these aren't my skates. Someone Never. left these. Do you want me to put them next to me? You want them? Oh uh, you know gosh. what? You're gonna bring them. Oh, I'm gonna, so and then I'll bring them out with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank oh you. Oh my God. I saw you skating. Well, I just want you to touch them because next okay, time I go so roller beautiful. skating. Thank you. I told you. God forbid there should ever be a fire in my home. I'm bringing my engagement ring and my skates. Therapy. Every man Look for at himself. The, the skates get their own little <laughs> fun. I'd like to interview the skate. So, what are, do you love being her roller skates? Yes. Oh my oh, gosh, my this God. is amazing. Well, what did you think of her skills? I mean, pretty good, pretty good. And but I mean, not, but oh, not. No, sorry, you're you're fabulous, <laughs> sorry. but not as good. These these kids are fantastic. These roller skaters, it's unbelievable. I mean, what are, what are they doing? It looks like they are defying oh. physics. It's they they are. Yeah. I think when I when I watched them because I I didn't know you know I went in as a judge and I had and gotten to see it because it was the first it's the first season yeah. mm -hmm. and I was sitting there watching it in real time being like what is happening right now how are they doing this right. yeah it was insane do you have skating skills no <laughs> oh no 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 I did rollerblade once or twice yeah right. and I thought but then you're like going downhill and you're like oh it's not like snow I can't just fall over right. when you ski you know? right. but um no I'm not a roller skater no but thank you for asking oh. I think I look like I could roller skate like it feels you like do. it's my energy it's my vibe but no but watching these kids, I was jealous, envious, that. but also, I mean, no, they're so fantastic. And, oh my and, gosh. and you know, and of course the filming is fantastic, but there's, there's a, a cameraman on roller skates. I was skates just gonna say, yeah. Filming this. I mean, it, cause he was going backwards and the steady cam is like the hardest of job course. to begin sure. with in right. camera. <gasps> He's skating with a, I mean, look at that. Oh my you know? God. I don't know why to me it feels way more impressive than ice skating with all due respect to it's, all the ice skaters out there i don't know why it is maybe because you don't see it as much the yeah. roller skating situation well i think like you know johnny being one of the being yeah, the regular johnny, judge yeah, yeah. yeah it's like he definitely took his skating into judging sure you know and Tur Terrell, he's mm -hmm. like definitely took his he's like a full mm -hmm. skater 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 so we the, and I just came in and was an observer you know I was like <laughs> what I liked I liked and what I didn't I didn't you yeah. know just as like the as an audience member is yeah, how yeah. I sort of judged it yeah so how does the joke the show play out then there's each episode is a decade a new yes. decade yes and I was the 60s to represent <gasps> hairspray oh, I love so it. I did the 60s and I loved all the music of course I was like yay it's like you know apple pie and it's I just love it so much it's all oh. well, cotton candy did for you me. serenade any of them <laughs> no no oh my god the oh my host god. being Jordan I, I was like Jordan are you gonna sing like she's so fantastic right um no I, di I didn't serenade anyone but um I love judging and I love the show I've been following it and I'm loving it because when I filmed I didn't know who had right. where they were I so I missed the people who had gotten taken off prior to me getting oh, there so now okay. I'm I'm like oh, I love it so I'm excited to see where it goes because I don't I don't even know oh my yeah gosh I mean you can't watch this and not think of how similar it is to dancing with the stars yes. which you're a little familiar with yes thank you right yes it is I mean except on skates um, <laughs> I'm like, except if you fall you get hurt um, mine was just pride and ego <laughs> um, but the costumes yeah the costumes are fantastic the choreography dancing with the stars and so I kind of had that I knew what they're going through right like you get one shot you know yeah, it's, it's, and I remember doing it being like well here we go like what, let's see what happens yeah oh, how many teams are there then? well oh, right now we're at to four. Four. four yeah we're down to four so oh my god yeah it's fantastic so the whole newsroom the whole building was all abuzz when everyone found out you were coming here oh, yeah because hairspray is so iconic mm -hmm. I mean and especially it, here in New York yeah I mean yeah what are your memories of it what are you and now you're back in New York I mean yeah this just... is I'm I'm doing a new show and it's my first time oh, coming wow. back to New York to do a show because I moved to LA I moved yeah. I went Hollywood you know did Dancing with the Stars mm -hmm. and Big Brother and TV and film, but 
Um, I've come together with my girlfriends, Laura Bell Bundy and Carrie Butler, who are also original cast members of uh, Hairspray. Hairspray. And we put a show on together. Look and now we're doing an off-Broadway run. And it's my first show oh. back in New York since I left Hairspray. I mean, Hairspray opened in 2002. Jeez. And we opened, <clears throat> you know, it wasn't even a year from September 11th. And, mm. and it, I think now, you know, look, retrospectively looking back, yeah. thinking, Oh my gosh, we brought joy to, I, oh my gosh, I got choked up. Like we brought oh. joy to New York because it was, it was such a devastating of time course, here. Right? It was a devastating time everywhere, but in New Especially York proper, yeah, we were sure. really, we were yeah. really hit, right? So, um, and I feel like me and the girls, I feel like I've reclaimed my joy. Uh, mm. I'm a mom, all three of us are moms. Oh, and we that. kind of, we tell our stories of before hairspray, during Hairspray and now being moms and what that means to being a mother and sure. work, being a working mom and, and sometimes it's wonderful and how we all have different paths to becoming moms and so it's really, it's a really a moving show. Like it's, yeah. I say bring your daughters, bring your kids, it's, yeah. it's, it's appropriate, you what can. Are, what are the songs that you perform? Well we do a lot from Hairspray. I, oh, I, I, bring, I bring a lot of Hairspray. Laura Bell <laughs> was nominated for a Tony for Legally Blonde. Yep. So she sings from Legally Blonde. Carrie Butler's done 12 Broadway shows so we try to get in as much as we can from her. <laughs> oh she was nominated gosh. for Xanadu and she was in Justin Beetlejuice and Mean Girls. So we get all, we are literally, we hit you nonstop, like showstoppers. Every song you want to hear, we sing. I said, we're not fooling anybody. Right. Just we're coming, have a good time, and it's not like we're not breaking any molds. Like we're right. not, you're not coming and oh now we're gonna do a jazz number. No, 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 no we're no. singing what you want to hear. This is you're in yeah. your lane. You're yeah. doing the thing. One hundred percent. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you're walking the the walk. You're walking life. Yeah. Do you have a soundtrack in your head of like, and are you singing it? Because okay. if you are, can I walk behind you? <laughs> My, <laughs> I will tell you, and this is during COVID, I started every day with um, The Greatest Showman. Oh. <laughs> so my whole, I'm not even joking, I would put it on and I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go play with my son because he was just 10 during mm -hmm. COVID. Oh. And I would put the soundtrack on and be like, okay, that'll be an hour and a half. And when that time, like, and then we'd need a break from each <laughs> other, right, 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 right? But it would be like, I'd have my music on. So I really, yeah. that one's yeah. really the soundtrack of, because it has oh, its highs that. and lows. Yeah. Sure. Greatest Showman is, is the soundtrack of my, what's always in my head. That's oh, awesome. Oh my gosh. Well, listen, before we let you go, yeah. we know that you're looking for a Link Larkin to oh, yeah. appear in the show. And yes. how can folks audition? You, Where do they you go? You just go to our website, www.mamaandthegirlnow.com yeah. or go to Instagram or TikTok and do your audition because every night we have, it's like a surprise, like I pick a link out of the audience. Oh, Stop wow. So right yeah, it, it's our one audience participation moment and um, I and it gets to be with me. <gasps> I mean, and Laura and Carrie because we're all on stage obviously the whole time. <laughs> but um, it's, so they can just go to Instagram or TikTok and, and do a little, you can, and it, you don't have to sing from the show. You can do a dance. Like oh I'm not going to tell gosh, you what you're amazing. doing. You can do whatever you want. And it's and it's you can be any gender. Like have fun with it. Be be love, like love, have fun. Love. Like it could be any yeah. age, any, you know. You don't have to harmonize. You don't know. You're not going to sing. I'm just going to tell you that. You're not, not singing, but you get to be on stage. That's so, awesome. Let's yeah. Do kazoos. Oh okay. my god, you yeah. and do a little kazoo situation. Oh, I keep saying if anyone famous is in the audience, they're gonna have to play Link. I'm like, oh really, Marty Short, you're here? Come on up! Like that's literally, I'm like, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pull up. Literally, Andrew Reynolds, I saw him the other night at an opening of a show and I was like, oh, are you coming? What night are you coming? I'm just wondering, just, oh, just wondering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, really just I'll put it in my head. I don't nosy. know, maybe I'll just jump up on stage. Oh I don't know. You'll fine, you'll be fine with it. Oh my god, I love your energy. Marissa, thank you so much. Thank you for christening my, my yes. face. For yes, me. for our roller jam day. The blessing <gasps> of this place. And roller my jam. episode airs, yeah, tomorrow night. I mean, it's streaming now on Max. New yes. episodes each Thursday. Yes. Your episode tom airs tomorrow. I'm yes. so excited. And if you want tickets to see Marissa and her Hairspray co-stars, head over to Mama. I'm a big girl now. Love it. Com.